go over the acidosis cycle really quickly with us. When you put acidic foods in your body, you start a cycle. First, and then if you don't have exercise and that your bowel movements don't work properly, your body doesn't function correctly. So your body has to start sacrificing tissues and organs, steals calcium from the bones, uh, steals magnesium from the muscles, and your body starts trying to sacrifice things to balance it out to keep that acid out of your blood. And all kinds of different health issues arise out of that. The arthritis, the gout, the GERDs, the cancer, the diabetes. And so it's just a vicious cycle and it keeps going in. And every time you put something in your mouth, it makes a difference. So we kind of have a, a personal philosophy of little tiny things that have helped us as well besides understanding the acid alkaline balance and putting more mineral rich foods in our diet. We learned about perennial foods. We learned that items that come from trees, um, like your berry bushes, anything that grows perennially, that the roots are there, bringing up the nutrition from the soil, that has the most to offer your body because it's not dependent on man doing something to enrich the soil. So all, the, all your tree fruits, your berries, the bushes, if you were in a warm climate, tomatoes, cucumbers, all those kinds of things could be classed as perennials. Another tip I want to give you is an acronym that Phil's fond of using, and it's HOPE. It stands for Hormones, Oxygen, Phytonutrients, and Enzymes. When you start cooking your food to death, you lose that. When you can smell your food, you've lost the oxygen. So your body needs all of these in order to bring nutrition to your cells. So instead of cooking something extensively, try just maybe making it so it's tender crisp so that you're going to reap more benefits out of actually eating that food. That made a huge difference to us. I even make a soup that I sort of, I call sacrificing my tomatoes from the garden. And I bring those just just up to where they're starting to boil. And then I have all my chopped and grated veggies that I throw in on top, we stir it around and we eat it. So the veggies haven't been cooked, but we can have a nice warm soup on a cold day. So another thing as far as uh, water is not to boil it, but to bring it again, just to where it's starting to boil. And that's warm enough for you because your body has a message that it needs to get from that water. And when we boil the water, it destroys the message that's in that molecule of water that our cells need. And another tip that I learned from a friend was to use a metal kettle instead of a plastic kettle. You don't need to be um, heating water in plastic containers and, and having all the items leached out of there that are toxins to your body. So if you're going to heat water, a metal kettle or a stainless steel pot or that is, is something to think about using. Again, just to remind you that we are rejuvenating when we're alkalizing. And for anybody my age or older, rejuvenating is a good thing. You're turning back the clock. We don't have to have degenerative diseases. We don't have to get sick and die, at least not in our 70s and 80s. We could live well beyond that. So just by changing a few little things that will alkalize our body and reduce the amount of toxins going in us, we can make a huge difference in our results. So I just want to convey to you it's not a big deal you just start with baby steps you don't have to change everything overnight it's real easy to go out and buy a metal kettle that's a baby step that's a step in the right direction I'd like to encourage people to add something raw and fresh to at least one meal a day so I've had family members that didn't know where to start and I said how about a handful of baby carrots with lunch and you don't have to take anything away just start with adding something fresh and then you might want to add something fresh at your dinner meal um, another step might be to have a breakfast like the Phil's Ultimate Breakfast with the Schmunky that's all raw. Just little things. You don't have to make a big, huge change and change every meal every day of the week. Just think about reducing the, the animal protein that you're eating or instead of having a cup of rice, maybe have a half a cup of rice and have in some fresh veggies to make up you know, how you've reduced your meal. All these little things will help you.